Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your uh, oracle reading for the week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's go ahead and jump into this cap. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Capricorn, um, what's going on here? A lot's going on here. Um, someone could have had a, a work love affair, um, they had an affair with someone that they work with, okay? Also, somebody could feel like this relationship is hard work. Coming back together or staying in the relationship is hard work because somebody is a a player, you know, an F boy, F girl. Um, and that's why uh, it looks like there's separation here. Somebody stopped the connection. And either you Capricorn or the other person is missing you, you know, they're missing you or you're missing them. And someone is begging for another try, you know, another try at this relationship. They're willing to put in the work, the hard work too. You guys could have had a life together, you know, um, maybe years ago, maybe you were married to this person. Maybe you were in long-term commitment. Maybe there are uh, children involved here. And maybe that's the connection, the glue that holds you together with this person, okay? Um, but it seems as if maybe this person had some type of sexual addiction or they were very, they were overly stimulated in the sexual department. They may have um, even had like a side person, a side man or a side woman, okay? And uh, either you Capricorn or if you're on the other side of this, somebody found out about it and someone is saying, look, she meant nothing to me, I promise. Or maybe he meant nothing to me, I promise. Somebody feels like if they can just get the opportunity to have sex with you, that'll bring you back. Or this is how you feel, Capricorn. There's also an energy of somebody being overly sexual, st stimulated by sex. Um, somebody travels and they have sex with people. Um, yeah, someone travels and they have sex with other people. Uh, somebody gets around. That's the energy here of someone getting around, having multiple partners, okay? Um, someone feels like if they could just surprise you with a gift or some jewelry, um, they'll have the connection back. You guys will be back together, okay? Um, and this is what they want to do. This is what, yeah. As I say that, gifts are coming out. Gifts. And we have the gift card. So somebody feels like they just need to give you something. They need to buy you something or take you somewhere. And you guys will be back together. This person goes on business, okay? Business journey, uh, trips. And they have sex with other people, Okay? This person is promiscuous, and these connections are just sexual connections, okay? Um, when this person says that these people mean nothing to them, they actually mean it. But maybe their number one person is asking, hey, did you ever love me? How can you love me when you do stuff like this? Someone feels like they want to surprise you with a new car or some big-ass gift. Like they feel like they know they need to, they're gonna have to work hard to get you back or to win you, win you over. If you guys are separated, they wanna text you, they're gonna call you, um, they wanna talk. They wanna talk to you, they wanna say blah, 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 I love you, you know. They wanna say the sweet nothings to you to get you back. And they also, they, they think of you intensely so that you, you can feel their vibration, especially with the concern card coming up. This person is concerned about if it's really over. Have they really messed it up? You know, um, and this person is a extremely sexual in nature because uh, they, you know, they may be confused about if they are attracted to men or women or both. 
And um, again, sex magic is what I perform on you. So it's like with this false person here, it's like, I don't know, whatever they portray to you, um, they have another side. And the eight talks about, you know, intimacy, sex, uh, mystery. So something is, you don't know something that this person does behind your back. And sometimes the bad health card, since it's the only card that has a bed in the picture, it talks about a sex connection, a sexual connection, or just the act of sex, because that's typically where sex happens most times in the bed uh, or the bedroom. There's an energy of someone being older than the other person being younger. Okay. Um, somebody feels like friends and family messed up the connection <clears throat> mess up the connection or they cause a lot of drama let me get some water I am uh, about to start coughing okay so yeah some older men may feel like you know they have the upper hand in age and maybe that's why they do all of this you know, F boy, F girl shit because they know that they can get away with it. Well, they have been getting away with it, but it looks like somebody is kind of awakening to a cycle that is happening here because you both, it, this relationship goes through cycles where it's good and, and then it's, it's great, it's going great, and then it just goes bad. Maybe even somebody ghosts the other person. Yeah, somebody is awakening to why they met this person, what, you know, the spiritual um, meaning is here, spiritual growth and destiny, why they, why this happened like it happened, why is it unfolding it like this? Um, so uh, this is the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel. Um, that's a small little ant. Where is that coming from? Um, yeah, you can donate to the channel. Uh, you can also ask a question by texting your question to the number below. Thank you, Capricorn. Many blessings to you.